Okay. I've got a question for you. How on earth, how on earth have you found me? What's brought you to this crazy channel? <laughs> Let's be honest, there's hundreds of fragrance reviewers out there. They're professional, they're knowledgeable, they're sensible. What on earth has brought you here to this crazy channel? To me, John Legg. Because I'm not professional. <laughs> I'm not very knowledgeable. And I'm not very sensible. Alright, I don't know what's brought you here, but I'm so, so glad you're here. I have a passion for fragrances. Seriously, I have a passion, and my idea is to share that passion, to push it onto you, to inspire you to go and get a good fragrance, spray it, enjoy it, wear it, and then repeat. Thank you for your time, and thank you for your visit. I'm going to share a fragrance with you now. That is, right, I'm going to best describe it as, remember my words, when you first smell this fragrance, you will literally go, oh yeah, a formidable looking beast. Okay, so it's made by Armath, see if we can focus it for, oh look at that, pretty good for me, eh? Armath, it's Club de Nuit, Silage, silage, I don't know. That's what it looks like. It's the 105 mil. It's the Eau de Perfume. And here in the UK, we can purchase this for around about 34, 35 British pounds. And you're going to say, Leggy, shut up and get on with the fragrance review. I'm just pacing myself on this one because it is... <laughs> It is a kind of fragrance that you recoil from. Let's get the cap off. Tell you what, on this one, the cap puts a bit, bit of a fight, but we get there in the end. Cap comes off. Are you ready for this? You might be ready. You'll be on the screen. I'm not ready for this. Here we go. Is it that professional one way than the other? You wouldn't get that on another channel. Like I said, professionals. I will warn you from the start, this fragrance for me personally was not love at first sniff. In fact, the first time I wore it, all the time I was like, I don't know about this fragrance. I don't know what it's doing to me. It's kind of messing with my head. Second time I wore it, I kind of, I sort of dealt with it. It wasn't until about the fourth time of wearing it, I was like, I get this fragrance. I understand it. And I sort of suddenly had a bond with this fragrance. I'm like, yeah, I get it. You know, there are fragrances which you spray and it's just an instant, oh, that's gorgeous. Oh man, that's stunning. <laughs> this one, when you first spray it, you literally go, that, trust me, that will be your reaction. Okay. Leggy, shut up and tell us what's in this fragrance. <laughs> right, okay. Seriously, dual jokes apart. This fragrance is extremely strong and extremely long. Okay. And after several wears of you sort of not being too sure about this fragrance, not quite too keen on the overall vibe and the way it's sort of a little bit on the screechy side, after about four or five wears, you kind of get it. So realistically, if you're thinking about buying it, and I'm going to tell you how it smells in a minute, and I'm going to tell you about the performance, which will sort of probably tip you into thinking, oh yeah, I might get this one. But realistically, it's one that you have to deal with. Once you've got it, once you understand it, it's great. But it's absolutely, it's all right. I'm going to say from the start, this is a silver 
powerhouse. Absolutely, it's a little bottle of amazing juice, but it's not love at first lift. And there, there may be some people, even after four or five wears, still just go, nah, it's just not very easy wear. Okay, right, in terms of the smell, on the top shelf, there's a burst of citrus. And there's some beautiful, beautiful blackcurrant. You will pick out the blackcurrant. You'll kind of pick out the lemon and the bergamot. And then what they've got, they've got a lime. You know when you go to like an Indian restaurant and they've got like a lime that you can squeeze onto your meal? That's exactly what they've done. So these really gorgeous citruses, someone's got a lime and squeezed a bitter, bitter lime. And it takes the citruses from being really nice and polite to being a little bit of an attitudinal sort of citrus. In, in other words, the, the lime at the top end of this sort of takes it from sweet to sort of bittersweet okay and that's the start where this fragrance is like not a total easy wear i think the lime at the start just sort of pushes you back a little bit drop down and on the middle shelf you've got you've got some ginger you will pick out the ginger the ginger is quite prominent in this and then you've got a few florals you've got some florals now you won't really pick the florals out there's a rose there's a jasmine and i think there's i can't remember there's something else Realistically, there are a few florals, they just become sort of a floral note, if you like. And then, there's some violet. Now, the violet tries so, so hard to make this a slightly powdery sort of fragrance, because that's what violet does. And I'm not going to say the violet fails miserably, but it never actually becomes a powdery sort of fragrance. No. The violet, you can tell it's trying to make things powdery, but it never really achieves that total goal. And at the bottom there, the bottom is heavy on this fragrance. You've got some amber, you've got some nice sweet cedar wood, and you've got some nice sweet sandalwood. And then, then you've got the musk. Now, whilst the musk is at the bottom, it does now this is probably going to be the most professional word I'm ever going to use. It sort of permeates. I'll sleep well tonight. Permeates. The musk, seriously, is at the bottom, but it permeates through this whole fragrance. And I think it's the musk and maybe the lime and the combination of the ginger <laughs> that could turn you off this fragrance. All right. Don't judge this fragrance you know normally i say don't judge it a fragrance in its first hour i'm going to say don't judge it in the first two to three wears i mean daily wears of this fragrance because you'll be all those days you'll be thinking i don't get this fragrance it's kind of a little bit screechy it's a little bit sort of it grates on my nerves a little bit and it's kind of right let's talk about the performance because whether you like this or not this is a long-term commitment when you spray it for at least two and a half hours at least two and a half hours this fills rooms literally you walk into a room and the fragrance just fires off you okay what actually realistically really wins your heart with this fragrance is not so much the smell, although you kind of get to understand the smell, but what wins your heart is the performance. This is a solid, solid performer. I say for two and a half hours, at least two and a half hours, this stuff is big, a big projection okay and a good solid projection. As you walk into different rooms, you're with different people, this big scent bubble seriously everyone around you everyone in that room smells armaf's silage or silage or whatever you want to call it right this one okay after the two and a half hours it drops down to still a scent bubble but a very sort of mm, 20 centimeters scent bubble around you it does still when you warm up and you're walking around it does still leave a trail not as strong as in the first two and a half hours but it does still trail off you this stuff right this stuff goes through showers so unless you particularly scrub where you put it on 
after the shower you dried yourself you put your nose to your skin this stuff is still there it is a skin scent through a shower it is a skin scent the next day get it on clothes and it's on clothes for two to three days maybe slightly more all right so realistically when you first smell it you're going to go i don't know about the fragrance okay don't just dismiss it wear it wear it wear it wear it several times and if after four or five times of wearing you go now nah, then you're gonna have to put it on ebay and try and dispose of it okay i personally after the fourth time of wearing something suddenly clicked and i was like yeah i get it and i think what happens is you just end up with a massive massive respect for this fragrance because you've spent only 34 35 british pounds and it works so hard there are very few other fragrances that literally for two and a half hours are this loud seriously and i don't just mean it's a scent bubble i mean it fills rooms it's crazy all right realistically leggy you're gonna say what does it smell like try and stay with me for this one now in real life i'm nothing to do with fragrances i work in a car dealership mazda and hyundai in fact i'm the spare parts guy out the back now when our workshop have new brakes discs you know anything metal and they take the old ones off the car the mechanic goes outside and he puts it in a big metal sort of recycling skip okay now that skip is exposed to the elements, you know, it rains on it, it snows on it, everything. So those metal components which have come off the car sit in a metal recycling skip. And obviously you get a bit of water in the bottom and they slowly go rusty or corrode, whatever you want to say. When you walk past that skip and it's maybe sunny and it sort of heats that sort of the metal and the water up that's in that skip, <laughs> right i'm not joking this smells a little bit like rusty brake discs okay it has a sort of a metallic sort of vibe to it but it's not just a straightforward metal it's kind of like a slightly rusty metal and you're going to say leggy you are not selling this to me at all all right this is what i say you cannot judge it in the first two or three wears it is it is a long-term thing where you have to kind of get to grips with it okay the citrus at the top it could be really nice and juicy but the lime sort of makes it bittersweet in the middle the ginger is pretty much as you would expect ginger and at the base the musk is the big player in the base okay is it sexy not really what i'd class as a sexy creamy sort of crowd pleasing sort of fragrance but seriously you will get so many compliments with this one by virtue of the fact that people can smell it up close it's not so good in the air it is a lot better all right so let's just recap Rusty brake discs, no, seriously. That's the sort of vibe, but forget that. Overall, it may not necessarily win your heart at first when you first spray it, but give it several wears, on, and you'll understand it. Okay, and you'll start to pick out the different notes. You'll be able to pick the citrusy out. You'll be able to pick the florals out, and you'll be able to, I mean, the musk is all over this one. You will pick out the musk, and I say, I think, overall it could be the musk that could turn some people off it's not for everyone but if you're looking for a powerhouse fragrance which will get you compliments armaf <laughs> club de noite silage or silage whatever you want to say this is such a hard working fragrance all day long as the wearer you will smell it trust me and there aren't many fragrances i'd say that about all day long you will smell it and i say skin it's there the next day it goes through showers this the, it, it is the performance that wins your heart and the fact that this man this is working so hard for you so hopefully i've given you enough information 
buy it with caution. Don't expect to love it straight away, but expect to have it win your heart over time. Hope that's made sense. I really appreciate you coming to this channel. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your visit. Thank you for your patience. And please consider coming back next time because I'd love to see you and I've got so many more to share with you. But in the meantime, please stay safe. That's really important. But more important than that, please, I insist that every single day, and I mean every single day, don't miss a day out and say, oh, fuck out. Every single day, I want you to get a fragrance and I want you to spray it. Spray it before you go to work. Spray it while you're at work, spray it when you get home, spray it after the shower, spray it before you go out in the evening. Keep spraying fragrances and trust me, that smile, you won't be able to stop smiling. You'll feel a little bit more confident, you may get a few compliments and you'll get a buzz from that. So trust me. You'll message me and you'll say, Leggy, you talk rubbish most of the time but you're right about that bit. Okay. Love you loads. See you soon. Goodbye.